It's time to make our Christmas and holiday cards for the season, and I'm excited to share with you my newest class and workshop for the holiday banner, Stamp and Thin Cuts, along with the Christmas florals, stencils, and embossing folder. These cards are beautiful. You can make these on your own, but I have completely different cards and a fun thing that we're also will be doing with those cards. Now, look how gorgeous this is. Three different stencils, and I'm going to give you my tips on how to use these stencils. I love the embossing folder. And this stamp set with thin cuts is so pretty. Here is the embossing folder. Now this is just embossed on white daisy, but we are using colored cardstock to do our embossing. But just look how elegant that is all on its own. If you wanted to stencil this, you have three stencils to place right on top to line up and stencil if you want. I'm keeping it um, neutral. You'll see what I'll be doing, but this is always optional for you, but we will be using stencils in a different way. So we have this stencil. We also have the stencil that does the veins to the leaves and the poinsettias. So that is pretty cool. And then the last stencil does the holly and some um, stems or branches. So these are all together sold as a set for $15.90. Not the white daisy, but this right here. Now, when it comes to the holiday banner stamp set, I highly recommend getting it with thin cuts. Um, they're just beautiful. You'll see here we have two poinsettias, a large and a small. Let's, so you can see here. We have this banner and this fills in lots of great sayings. Happy holidays, tis the season. We have Merry Christmas, joy to the world that all fit in here. Happy mail. And we also have your holly leaf and another leaf, berries here and here. This one's a thin cut. And we're just gonna show you exactly what you can do with this. It's so cool. So excited about this. We're gonna make 24 cards. This is going to be an online, not an online class. It will be a class where you can join in um, at home on your timeline and it will all be recorded. So it's not a live class, but you will get the link to do this. So I want to give a shout out to a Vicki Wozniak from Canada who came up with this um, concept of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper that she cut down to make the cards. I modified it a little bit and that is what we're doing. It's really a cool technique. So here's card number one. Now here you can see it's on mink. We have our stenciling all done on white daisy and I sanded the dry embossing folder to give it a little pop of color. And now our colors that we'll be using are linen and mink and sage, uh, pine, as well as some candy apple. Here you can see Tis the Season and aren't these gorgeous. Now these are the silver gems. I highly recommend getting those. Now if you have some stickles, we have some red um, online, but you can still use your silver and gold stickles or things that you have there. So that's one card. This is the same card now, exactly same card, but now we're adding candy apple. So that's what's cool about this. We're going to mix and match our, our pieces to make all 24 cards. You're gonna do 12 cards with me and then you have everything to do your second set. So isn't this pretty? Now you can see I used some gold gems and some gold stickles and here's where I added a little bit of red holly berries and I stamped my message in red. Still looks gorgeous. And now here's the third card. Now I used pine as the background. I have sage and we've done the Merry Christmas in the pine. Really, really pretty, pretty with gold gems and some stickles. So that is card one. All three are the same card, but we mixed and matched our papers to get a fun look. And then you can sponge and blend a little bit of that candy apple right onto the poinsettias. Do you see how gorgeous these cards are? So this one's sanded and this one is not. So you get an idea of what we can do. So that's card one. Here's card two. Here you can see it's we have our mink, we have our pine, and we added a little bit of red and we have our silver gems. We have it now done with the candy apple. Isn't it fun that you can change out the pieces, make the card look completely different? but it's all the same cuts. I love having a little bit of variety and having fun with it. And you can definitely see all the stencil work that's going on here. 
And then we have our thin cuts here, 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 and here, as well as our banner. And now if you want to add some stickles, you've got it. So that is card number two, three different ways. Card number three, that beautiful Believe is just stunning in the stamp set. Now here we're using the dry embossing here. We have our stencil, we have our leaves, and our beautiful poinsettias. And I added some gems and then I did stickles around it to really give it a little extra emphasis and then a little bit right there on the berries. If you like it in red, I love the fact that we have the options with the red, the gray, the greens, just changing it out and it gives it a whole new look, but look how gorgeous that is. And then we have our pine and sage. I love traditional colors and I think these cards are just beautiful. So those are card number three. And our last card is a completely different look. Now this is something that you can do a double poinsettia. And I kept this one really clean to show you, you don't have to use any gems if you don't want to, any bling, any stickles. Um, if you want, it's just gorgeous on its own. You can see our dry embossing is done here. We added our berries, our leaves, and our banner sticker, uh, banner that's stamped. And now you can see our stencil work down here. This one, I chose to add two of the poinsettias just to give you an idea that you can do either or. So I love the fact that you can see options on the same card example. And now that one's with candy apple. And this one is using the mink and a little bit of sage. And then you have your pine that's sanded. And isn't that pretty? And the double large poinsettia. And then I added just the red berries. Yes, I'm so tempted to add those gems and the bling, but I really wanted to show you you have lots of options. So this is something that you will want to do with me. Um, the class will be $15. There's a $75 minimum purchase. There is a shopping list to make um, for you to look at, to pick and choose the products that you need. I have everything typed up and ready to go, and you will be invited. All the details are definitely on the shopping list. I hope you'll join me. It'll be so much fun.